This is Tiffany Treeb's presentation on the Southwest Transit Project. Elizabeth was the first team member that we decided on. She was also the easiest team member to decide on. She has everything we are looking for in a great leader. Great leaders possess three key characteristics. They have great integrity. Elizabeth has demonstrated that, her diplomatic, that in her diplomatic tendencies when it comes to conflict resolution. They display conviction. Elizabeth is reported to be flexible. However, she will state her mind if she sees that, if she feels that what she needs to get across is the right thing to do. Lastly, great leaders display charisma. That is clear in Elizabeth's ability to connect with different team members who all display different personalities. Not only does she display these wonderful leadership qualities, her former teammates report that she is great at solving problems within the team. She listens well and she's detail oriented. All of these qualities will lead to not only a successful team member, but a great leader for the team. Michael was the most difficult to decide on. He displays some difficult qualities that do not always lend themselves to great teamwork. However, he does seem to have more positives than negatives. He was chosen based on his ability to remain positive and to be a leader when needed. He is also known, he is also known for helping to bring out others' strengths when working together as a team. His conflict resolution skills tend to rely on his passive aggressive tendencies. This can lead to an unhealthy team environment. A great way to negate passive aggressive tendencies is to address them head on. Elizabeth will be encouraged to bring up any inkling of conflict with Michael early on. In doing so, she will encourage Michael to share his thoughts more freely and openly rather than rely on being passive aggressive when he's unhappy. Susan will bring a positive energy to the team. She is a great team player. She produces quality work, but will need her workload to be managed appropriately so that she can avoid feeling overwhelmed. A great strategy for this is using a task management app such as Trello to help her prioritize her tasks and have more of a checklist. The fact that she's a free spirit and more creative will be a great addition to the team. This allows for new ideas and perspectives. She's also a natural leader, which will mesh well with our other leaders in the group. I apologize. She's also a natural follower, which will mesh well with our other leaders in the group. Lastly, Susan will be incredibly motivated knowing that this project is for the good of the company and will help negate the layoffs of hundreds of employees. William was chosen due to his positive outlook and his ability to be motivated by, the ta by tasks like this. Being that he's primarily motivated by tasks that have an immediate value, the fact that this task will save hundreds of people from being laid off will be a huge source of motivation to him. In addition, while he can be a leader, William is also comfortable following, which will be key as we have an established leader in this group. His one downside is that he can be inefficient. A great way to assist perfectionists in meeting their deadlines is to give them the freedom to delegate certain aspects of the task that could be better completed by other team members or simply just help them meet their deadline. Strengths and weaknesses of the team. In terms of strengths and weaknesses for the team, they are, have more collective strengths than they do individual weaknesses. The fact that they have an established leader in Elizabeth is a huge strength. She is an excellent problem solver and is detail oriented, which will help her lead the team. While she does struggle to branch out and do new things, her more creative and risk-taking teammates, such as Susan, will overcompensate for that. Michael, who displays some more excellent qualities, who displays some excellent qualities, is he is tactical and strategic, which will help him to keep everyone on a deadline. He's also able to see aspects of a project that are not as noticed by others and to hone in on them so that they add value to the project overall. He does suffer from depression and has been known to abandon projects in the past. However, due to the fast paced nature of this project and the fact that he is motivated by complex tasks such as this means that he will stay motivated and complete his tasks. Susan's strength lie in her cre creativity and her personality. She's able to work well with varying personalities and that will come in handy in this project. In terms of her weaknesses, Susan can lose focus and has been known to overlook important details, which can make her have to redo tasks. As mentioned before, this can easily be mitigated by having her utilize a task manager such as Trello, which will help her break down her tasks and focus on the details needed. Another thing that might be helpful is having a perfectionist like William check her work. Speaking of William, his strengths lie in his confidence and his level of knowledge and expertise. Where he struggles is his perfectionism, which can make it hard for him to complete tasks on time. Susan can help him by being the person he delegates tasks to. In doing so, he will keep her work on track and ensure her work is quality, and she will help him to meet deadlines. The management team is quite positive that this team will be successful and their inherent strengths and weaknesses complement each other. 
most importantly, each team member was chosen based on their demonstrated abil ability to work in teams successfully. And that is the most important component of whether or not this team will be successful. Motivational theories. So firstly, we chose individuals who appear to be motivated by the task itself. Therefore, the job characteristics theory is the most applicable. According to the textbook, Organize, Organizational Behavior, Managing Organizations and Teams, job characteristics theory is defined as a theory that focuses on specific motivational components of the job. Elizabeth is motivated by being treated like a peer as opposed to a subordinate. This is why the management team decided to place her in our leadership role within the team. She will be motivated by her role and the outcome will be a high internal motivation. In terms of Michael, he is motivated by interesting and complex tasks, which falls under skill varieties. He will then experience the meaningfulness of the work, which will lead to low turnover and absenteeism, which has been a concern for him in the past. Susan is motivated by team significant, task significance. Knowing that this task could salvage the, salvage the jobs within the company, this will also lead her to experience the meaningfulness of the work and lead to a high satisfaction with the tasks at hand. Lastly, William is motivated by the immediate value of a project and appreciation for the work he completes. This project will provide him with the feedback he needs as he is seeing the positive results of his work on the company right away, and this will lead to a high quality work performance. One of the main sources of conflict for a team is differing values arising from perceived or actual incompatibilities in their belief system. One way we plan to mediate this is by naming a clear team leader who can create a culture within the team and align the team's values from the start. We have chosen Elizabeth as our team leader as she has displayed diplomatic tendencies and she also likes conflict resolution. We also plan to provide her with some brief training on Gausel's nine stage model of conflict resolution so that she is aware when the team is experiencing escalation and conflict and what the appropriate resolution would be. We are confident that with Elizabeth's leadership abilities and her training, she will be able to lead the team successfully and manage conflict successfully. Now onto leadership theories. This group is going to be very reliant on Elizabeth's ability to be a charismatic leader. Charismatic leaders, as defined by Griffin, Phillips, and Gully, as a type of influence based on the leader's type of charisma. Being that Elizabeth is perfectly comfortable in a team environment and has led multiple teams shows that she is the charisma for this type of leadership. The theory of charismatic leadership was first proposed by Robert House, and he claimed that charismatic leaders have a lot of self-confidence in their beliefs and ideals and have a strong need to influence people. We believe that Elizabeth possesses these qualities and that her team will, res will respond well to them. Conscious capitalism and the team selection. The team embodies all four values of conscious capitalism. Purpose is defined as recognizing that every business has a purpose that includes but is more than making money. The team's purpose is to avoid the layoffs of hundreds of employees. They will all be motivated by this and it creates a purpose that is not strictly financially motivated. Culture is defined as the ethos, the values, principles, practices underlining the social fabric of a business which permeates the atmosphere of a business and connects stakeholders to each other and to the purpose, people, and processes that comprise the company. By only choosing team members that have worked well in teams in the past, there is an immediate culture of teamwork that will be present in the group. In addition, by selecting and training a solid leader for the team, we have strengthened the already present culture that, that this team will create. Leadership is defined as people who see a path and inspire others to travel along that path. We believe that Elizabeth's leadership will positively influence the group. Lastly, the team creates value for its stakeholders in many ways. By creating a marketing strategy that introduces the Boeing 747, they are inherently creating value for the customers. In addition, by saving hundreds of employees from layoffs, they are creating value for the employees. When this marketing strategy creates the creates the value for the customers and increases sales, the company can use the profits to hire more employees and lessen the load for the current employees. This will positively impact the business as a whole and create a healthier culture for employees' work-life balance. The team can change the course. This team can change the course of the company and we have no doubt they will succeed in their endeavors.